Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be doing a simple crock pot barbecue chicken and the things that you're going to need for this recipe is obviously some chicken. I have five pounds of drum legs. Um, <clears throat> I have Weber Casey barbecue rub. I have some Weber dry smoking rub. Saison Classico and barbecue sauce of your choice. And of course, these in ingredients can vary. Um, depending on how you season yours, this is what I like. It's very good. You can use any type of, I would recommend, like barbecue seasoning if you want it to carry the whole barbecue flavor um, <clears throat> throughout the duration of it cooking. I have a very simple crock pot. It's not anything fancy. I just have it on high. And I usually cook these until I'm satisfied with um, the tenderness. And it's usually somewhere between... I don't know. I'll have to tell you guys at the end because I don't want to give you a wrong um, time frame. So I'm definitely going to go back over it with you to make sure I let you know the timing. So Saison Classico, this is an all-purpose seasoning. I use this a lot in my cooking, cooking because it has pretty much everything in here. Um, you can also buy it with no salt. Okay. KC barbecue rub and I'm kind of using the palm of my hand at this point to get the things open because with chicken you want to be very careful and honestly I just kind of eyeball it if you need to measure it out I would say um, I don't know you can measure it out if that's what you prefer to do I don't measure a lot of the time this is the dry smoked rub I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of that in there since we already have the KC barbecue rub. And I'm going to just go in. I'm going to remove my ring. Rings. And we're going to give these a good rub. And as you can see, they're coated already pretty well. And that's how we want it. So I'm just going to start laying these in the crock pot. Depending on how big your crock pot will also help determine how much you can actually put inside your crock pot. All right, so at this point, <clears throat> I'm just kind of readjusting the camera so you guys can see how I'm just pretty much layering the chicken into this crock pot. Oh, and by the way, I mean, it's, I, <laughs> I'm going to mention it, but of course you already know, I already washed and cleaned this chicken um, before I got started. If you aren't sure on how to clean chicken, like if you're brand new to cooking, then I will link a video where I did like a very thorough how to clean chicken video. And um, yeah, you can watch that. I pour any leftovers over in there and I'm gonna wash my hands really quickly. And I'm also gonna go ahead and wash my bowl out in the sink or anything else that the chicken may have touched on just for hygiene purposes. So you don't have to do this, but I just do that immediately and just have it, instead of having the bowl sitting around. All right, you guys, so now that we are all cleaned up, only thing I do now is literally just go over the chicken and pour the barbecue sauce down in here like this. No need to stir it around or anything at this time. Just want to do it just like this. We're going to put our top on and I will come back to you guys when we are done, I will let you know exactly how long this cooked for or by the time you see this video, I probably would already know. And that way I can let you know in the beginning how long you can expect to cook this for. And it's currently 9 a.m. 
It's Sunday, August the 10th, I believe. Yeah, no. Anyway, <laughs> it's currently a Sunday, 9 a.m. I'll let you guys know how long this cooked for, right? Again, my setting is on high, and this is five pounds of chicken. Y'all, I just noticed the footage was very blurry. Um, I was just showing you guys where we are now at the two and a half hour mark. Our chicken is done. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking it would be three hours, so I checked it at the two and a half hour mark, but we're already finished. Um, it's almost falling apart, some of the pieces on the bottom, so I'm about to take this out. I'm going to put it in a pan and broil these on high for about five minutes or until our top gets nice and crispy, and I'm going to glaze it with some of the barbecue sauce that we have not used. The sauce that's in here Obviously, you want to pour that off into another container and have that as a dipping sauce or something to drench over the top when it's done cooking so that nothing goes to waste. So stay tuned. We are almost done with this crock pot meal. All right, y'all. So I'm about to start trying to dip this out of here without tearing them apart because they're so tender as we already saw just a minute ago. I wouldn't recommend using fingers either because that is pretty, pretty hot. And I don't want to use my tongues because I don't want them to tear apart. If you don't mind the soft skin, by all means, stop here. But I have a house full of picky eaters and crispy skin on chicken is just a must have. So. So now we have our chicken all lined up in here. Sorry about that with the camera. I'm going to go ahead and turn my oven on. And let that start um, getting hot. Going to take some more of this barbecue sauce, squeeze it on the top of this. And have one of my little brushes here. You'll have a brush, take a butter knife, the back of a spoon, anything like that, and just smooth this barbecue sauce over it to glaze all over your chicken. If there's anything else that you want to add, brown sugar, just whatever, now is the time. And Don't you like that little noise there? So sexy. <laughs> I'm going to finish glazing this and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of our dry rub. Also back onto the top. Okay, this is going to give us so much flavor. So much flavor. Have it on sprinkle setting and just sprinkle it over the top just like that just to finish it off okay that's it and take some of this juice and kind of pour it up into the sides don't pour it directly on top of the chicken that we just glazed find a side and pour it down in there It'll help keep moisture on this chicken while it's broiling. Okay. Try to avoid getting on top like I just did right there, but it's just a little bit, so it won't matter. Oh, that's hot. I'm going to put this into the oven and I'm going to come back and show you guys the final results. So you guys, this is the finished result of the baked chicken from the crock pot that we put into the 
um, broiler for five minutes and just let it cook all the way through on the top let it get a little crispy give it a little bit of scorch and of course some of that rubbing seasoning have like brown sugar in it so that um, also is going to help this chicken crisp up and caramelize and give it um, a little bit more brownness to the top so be mindful of that because it burns quicker um, so if you do use a rub that has sugar in it make sure you take um, that into accountability when you are cooking this in your oven if you choose to do this step so i'm good to go for dinner tonight as far as my meat is concerned only thing i'll have to do later on is throw some vegetables or something on the stove but the main meal is done and i can relax this sunday i have some crafting to do i have some laundry to finish up so my day is pretty much free and clear because the main dish is already done for dinner you all enjoy your sunday and uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe see you all next time